Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I'm going to do, well, it's not a watercolor. It's a gouache, I guess. Um, I haven't done watercolor in quite a while, and I was thinking I should be practicing that a little bit more. I used to do it more often, and I like it. And then I got thinking, well, I have all this gouache. You know, everybody was buying the Hemi Jelly Gouache, and I got on the bandwagon and bought some myself. And I really don't use it very well. <laughs> of course, I haven't really practiced with it. So I figured I would try doing, you know, maybe one every, at least once a week or something, and use up some of this jelly gouache, which it's not really jelly anymore. It's I've had it for, has it been a year? I don't know. And it doesn't seal very well, so it doesn't stay, you know, jelly. It dries. So that's, I guess that's why I consider it more of a watercolor, because you can reconstitute this stuff with water. And I'm more of a watercolor than a gouache painter. And I try using it in a watercolor manner, which is probably not the way you're supposed to do it. I have watched, since this one and several others that I've done, I have watched a couple of helpful tutorials on gouache, so maybe I will improve. But for this one, I'm just doing a cluster of white flowers um, with a blue sky. Real simple, um, nothing too complicated, except for, you know, as I start as I get more into the detail of the flowers, even referencing a photo, which I'm referencing a photo, I get lost in the little details. I lose track of where my line should be. And then I start making it up. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> which is good, because that's what I end up doing. So I'm... I'm getting this gouache and trying to get quite a bit. I wanted it. I, okay, I already said don't know how to use it. I wanted a solid, sort of even sky. And what I get is streaky and uneven and I know it's because of how I'm using it and I know uh, some of the tutorials I watch they're like gouache is better is best straight from the tube you can reconstitute it but it's best straight from the tube so um, I do have some even older tube gouache but we'll save that till my jelly gouache is gone And, uh, yeah, I never need to buy any kind of paint ever again. <laughs> uh, but then you see something you want to try, like this stuff, which I really didn't need. Um, and spent perfectly good money on it. <laughs> uh, do you, do any of you ever, you know, like, if you watch... YouTube art videos and haul videos and stuff like that. It's constantly tempting. You know, watching somebody create something with something that looks so cool and so much fun to try. It's just so tempting. But I am, and I've said this for at least a year and a half, I am restraining from purchasing anything this year again <laughs> and I'm sorry the angle of this is so bad I did not realize I was so far to the bottom left of the screen I've zoomed in with my um, editing software so that it's not just way down in the corner and hopefully you can see enough to see what I'm doing I'm just taking my round brush and just getting in around 
all the bits because this is um, these are white flowers so I'm just trying to get the background in I think I've done three or four paintings with the jelly gouache since this one. They're a little bit better, but they're still really watercolor technique rather than gouache painting technique. A lot of people talk about how much they love it, and they talk about how well that it layers on itself. And... I, you know, I fill, I fill this whole thing in and then I move on to the flowers and I still don't like the streakiness of it and you'll see I'll go through, I'll go over it, the background again, um, I'm not sure I show you the whole thing. Um, here I'm just going to put in some shading for these flowers so they have a little bit more dimension. But after I do that, get that in there on the flowers, then I fill in the background again and it's still just as streaky. Like, it's just not a good background. But I do do something, you'll see. I do something that helps. It looks more purposeful and less like a hot mess. <laughs> In fact, I'm I'm perfectly happy with the flowers once I finish them completely. You'll have to give me your opinion. Don't be too harsh. <laughs> if you've seen um, videos on gouache techniques that you like, uh, let me know. I'll I'll go watch them. And this I've just got a little bit smaller brush just to get in some little spots here and there. And I wanted to give them something more than blue, so I pulled out a little bit of the purple color. Give them little purpley tints. I'm trying to remember, I think the photo kind of had those that color in there a little bit. It looks like a brown, must be the stem. I don't have a very steady hand. I can draw okay, but painting good lines with a brush is a little bit more difficult for me. And that background still isn't wet, isn't dry, I mean. And if it had been dry and I'd been able to place my hand on it, I might have been able to do that a little bit steadier. <laughs> Oh, this month starts the 100 day project. Is anybody doing the 100 day project? I'm not doing paint. I'm not painting. <laughs> 
I haven't done it before. Um, never even started it before. So I have started and I'm posting those pictures on Instagram. Um, I will try to... Um, I am filming them, so I will try to upload like a... They're just really small projects, quick projects. I will try to upload um, footage from those maybe once a week. Putting in some specks of green. There was green in the um, the petals when it came towards the center, so I was trying to replicate that. Almost forgot I had these green bits that were poking out in places. Okay, so here's where I decide to try and do another layer and cover up the streakiness. And I just don't think I have a high enough pigment, pigment load um, to do it. Still too watery. Still just looks completely streaky. I think this is where I decide I don't like it. Well, I already didn't like it. This is where I decided I'm giving up. So I'm basically going to wash the background. I flood it with um, just water. And now I'm taking, I think that's a baby wipe. And I'm just going to take as much off as possible. I, I do leave it with a little bit of a textured surface, but at least it's not streaks. At least it it looks intentional and interesting and not streaky. That's all I can say. <laughs> I think it improves it quite a bit, in my opinion. Alright, so now it's dry, and I really don't have um, defined edges on those flowers. Plus there's these little teeny stamen heads, is that what it is? The little ends of the stamens in this um, flower that I was trying to figure out how I was going to replicate. So I just decided to take a pen to it, and then... Decided to outline all the all the blossoms and I think that improves the whole thing. I try to use my white jelly roll pen to do some of the center stuff. Um, you can see it a little bit, so it does have an effect, but it doesn't show up very much. And now that I decided that was acceptable, I'm going to go through and do it to all the flowers.
There are blossoms lined up behind blossoms, so lots of layers. And I left out quite a few because it was just way too many for me to keep track of in my drawing. Okay, I edited out just a little bit, almost done with the flowers, and then I'm going to outline. I end up outlining the branches and everything as well, just so it's all consistent. So I'm just finishing up the last little blossoms on the end there, and this one will be done. So I hope you liked my video. If you did, leave me a comment or a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It helps YouTube know that you liked what you saw, if you did. And um, helps people to find my videos. So thank you all for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.